And I'll explode the cannon on that red to leave the red into the centre pocket. And Alex really rising to the occasion here. This really is something. Thirty one points the lead. So 52 points to six, Alex leads 52. in this final frame, 15 frames each. Being rather unfortunate though when splitting the reds, he has a red into the centre pocket, but it's not easy this red. Alex could put the pink into the centre and hold the white there for this red just below the, the last of those three reds together. time to make a 59 break that's still enough points on the table now can this young man rise to the occasion Alex will probably play this loose red at the near the bottom cush, wanting to leave the other reds grouped up, as Jimmy virtually needs all the reds. Shouldn't think Alex would want to open any of the reds up here. how this young man feels at this very moment. Six. Jimmy White, six. And there we see the difference, the sort of balls Jimmy's been potting throughout this match, and the difference that pressure makes when you have to get them. <coughs>
Just one red now wanted to leave. Jimmy needing snookers. Eight. And Alex having a hard look at the scoreboard. Red. and that will certainly make him feel better and Jimmy White I feel must be feeling that this is the end of the road yes Jack but what a tremendous performance by Alex these last two frames 16. look virtually out of the tournament I don't think you'll be too worried about that now. Sixty-three behind and fifty-one on the table. just a question of Alex winding up the frame and indeed the match and what a victory and what tremendous courage both players have shown and they've really given us some enjoyment. Yes, Jack, I think one of the most exciting matches I've ever seen in my life, this. And Jimmy looking rather sad, but uh, at least he has the consolation of being just a young lad of 20, and he'll come again. Alex Higgins, 21. Foul, Jimmy White, four. So Jimmy White concedes. And what a splendid finish. And a truly, truly superb semi-final. So the people's player now has a chance to really be the people's champion. And all the lucky charms had worked for this unpredictable and brilliant snooker player. We'd reached the most remarkable climax to the most remarkable world championship ever. On the first two days, the favourites, the seeds, had gone tumbling. But now we had a final ahead of us that I don't think even a scriptwriter would have dared to invent.